With Kanye West when they met in Miami on New Year's Eve. His energy is so fun to be around. He had me and my friends laughing, dancing, and smiling all night, she wrote, adding that they decided to keep the energy going by flying back to New York City to see Slave play on Broadway. She was impressed. When Yee made it to the show on time, she wrote. Afterwards, they got dinner at Carbone, where the rapper directed an entire photo shoot for her as other guests dined. The whole restaurant loved it and cheered us on while it was happening, she gushed. After dinner Yee had a surprise for me. I mean, I am still in shock. Yee had an entire hotel suite full of clothes. It was every girl's dream come true. It felt like a real Cinderella moment. I don't know how he did it, or how he got all of it. They're in time. But I was so surprised. Like, who does things like this on a second date? Or any date? Everything with us has been so organic. I don't know where things are headed but if this is any indication of the future I am loving the ride. Julia Fox and Kanye West took off like wildfire. In a brief essay for Interview magazine that debuted online on January 6, 2022, Julia Fox opened up about her instant connection with Kanye West when they met in Miami on New Year's Eve. His energy is so fun to be around. He had me and my friends laughing, dancing, and smiling all night, she wrote, adding that. They decided to keep the energy going by flying back to New York City to see Slave play on Broadway. She was impressed when Yee made it to the show on time, she wrote. Afterwards, they got dinner at Carbone, where the rapper directed an entire photo shoot for her as other guests dined. The whole restaurant loved it and cheered us on while it was happening, she gushed. After dinner Yee had a surprise for me. I mean, I am still in shock. Yee had an entire hotel. Sweet full of clothes. It was every girl's dream come true. It felt like a real Cinderella moment. I don't know how he did it, or how he got all of it there in time. But I was so surprised. Like, who does things like this on a second date? Or any date? Everything with us has been so organic. I don't know where things are a headed but if this is any indication of the future I am loving the ride. With E. Kardashians, said the actress, I am gonna miss Keeping Up. I've been watching Keeping Up since it first came out in like 2007 when, like, watching it was embarrassing. She also explained what about the Kardashian clan appeals to her. I wanted them to be my family, she admitted, and expressed sadness over Khloe Kardashian's latest split from off and on love Tristan Thompson amid another cheating scandal. She's a self-professed diehard fan of the Kardashians. On a December 2021 episode of her Forbidden Fruits podcast, Julia Fox described herself as a diehard, og fan of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Said the actress, I am gonna miss Keeping Up. I've been watching Keeping Up since it first came out in like 2007 when, like, watching it was embarrassing. She also explained what about the Kardashian clan appeals to her. I wanted them to be my family, she admitted, and expressed sadness over Khloe Kardashian's latest split from off and on love Tristan Thompson amid another cheating scandal. More on that next. She delivered her baby boy early due to some blood pressure issues, she revealed on Instagram the following month. My Forever Valentine. Valentino. Born on January 17, 2021. The best day of my life, she captioned a photo from her maternity photo shoot. She's a new mom. In January 2021, Julia Fox gave birth to her first child, son Valentino, with then-husband Peter Artemia. They're now estranged, more on that next. She delivered her baby boy early due to some blood pressure issues, she revealed on Instagram the following month. My forever Valentine, Valentino. Born on January 17, 2021. The best day of my life, she captioned a photo from her maternity photo shoot. The environmental responsibility of enterprises. Add Hitachi. Slideshow continues on the next slide. The environmental responsibility of enterprises. Add Hitachi. Beat that? She scrawled across a photo of the pilot. He can be found at most strip clubs. Ellipsis. Please remind him that he has a child to take care of.
Oh, and if you chill with him knowing he is a deadbeat alcoholic drug addict dad, you are not my friend and I will call you out too. Continued the actress artist, I just don't want my son messed up cause he feels like his dad was absent or loved alcohol and partying more than him. Ellipsis. This man would wake up at 4 p.m. My son. Gesto sleep at 7. It's the holidays. Have a heart and see your kids. This man left me with a five-month-old and a dog and a home and all the bills. It's wrong. It's not fair. When a follower suggested that her outburst could negatively impact her acting career, Julia fired back. This is my son's life we are talking about. I don't care about my acting career. My son loves his dad. I've accepted that his dad refuses to be present, and I've made peace with it. She concluded by calling Peter dangerous. The pilot, meanwhile, released a statement to page 6 refuting Julia's claims about him. I was saddened to learn off the utterly false statements made on social media by Julia Fox, my co-parent, who is clearly struggling out of respect for her privacy and to protect her child, I will not comment further, he said. Julia later expressed regret over how she handled the situation, telling the cut, I wanted to scare him into being a better dad, but I went about it the wrong way. My son's dad loves his son more than anything in the world. He just has some issues that I shouldn't have made public. She's not on good terms with her son's father. In December 2021, Julia Fox took aim at her estranged husband, Peter Artemiev, on her Instagram story. Have you seen this deadbeat dad? She scrawled across a photo of the pilot. He can be found at most strip clubs. Ellipsis. Please remind him that he has a child to take care of. Oh, and if you chill with him. Knowing as a deadbeat alcoholic drug addict dad, you are not my friend and I will call you out too. Continued the actress artist, I just don't want my son messed up cause he feels like his dad was absent or loved alcohol and partying more than him. Ellipsis. This man would wake up at 4 p.m. My son goes to sleep at 7. It's the holidays. Have a heart and see your kids. This man left me with a five-month-old and a dog and a home and all the bills. It's wrong. It's not fair. When a follower suggested that her outburst could negatively impact her acting career, Julia fired back. This is my son's life we are talking about. I don't care about my acting career. My son loves his dad. I've accepted that his dad refuses to be present, and I've made peace with it. She concluded by calling Peter dangerous. The pilot, meanwhile, released a statement to page 6 refuting Julia's claims about him. I was saddened to learn of the utterly false statements made on social media by Julia Fox, my co-parent, who is clearly struggling. Out of respect for her privacy and to protect our child, I will not comment further, he said. Julia later expressed regret over how she handled the situation, telling the cut, I wanted to scare him into being a better dad, but I went about it the wrong way. My son's dad loves his son more than anything in the world. He just has some issues that I shouldn't have. Maddie Public assaulted her in the nightclub's kitchen. According to a page six source, he dragged her across the room, knocked her drink out of her hand, threw her in the kitchen and slammed her head into this metal kitchen appliance after he saw her talking to another man. Added a law enforcement source, he pulled her Herand said, I should slap the s asterisk 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 out of you. He then grabbed her $800 phone, cracked it in two pieces and tossed it into the garbage. Ellipsis. He was charged with harassment and criminal mischief. According to a police report, he was also charged with misdemeanor assault. Although a judge issued a temporary order of protection barring him from coming near Julia, and he was even banned from his own club, he initially denied the allegations against him. Julia, who'd invested in the club, was also banned from the venue. After the court dismissed the case against Teddy, Julia told Page Six, everyone deserves a second chance at life. I don't hate him. I just wish he didn't treat me like garbage for so long. I wish him all the best, and I hope he can get the help he 
needs to deal with his inner demons. Public drama with an ex ISNT new for her. Back in 2015, Julia Fox called the cops on her then boyfriend, happy ending owner and manager Teddy Perweiler, when he allegedly assaulted her in the nightclubs. Kitchen. According to a page six source, he dragged her across the room, knocked her drink out of her hand, threw her in the kitchen and slammed her. Heading to this metal kitchen appliance after he saw her talking to another man. Added a law enforcement source, he pulled her hair and said, I should. Slap this asterisk 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 out of you. He then grabbed her $800 phone, cracked it in two pieces and tossed it into the garbage. Ellipsis. He was charged with harassment and criminal mischief. According to a police report, he was also charged with misdemeanor assault. Although a judge issued a temporary order of protection, bearing him from coming near Julia, and he was even banned from his own club, he initially denied the allegations against him. Julia, who'd invested in the club, was also banned from the venue. After the court dismissed the case against Teddy, Julia told Page Six, everyone deserves a second chance at life. I don't hate him. I just wish he didn't treat me like garbage for so long. I wish him all the best, and I hope he can get the help he needs to deal with his inner demons. Fury, his character's employee and girlfriend. She actually inspired the role. According to a 2020 profile in Rolling Stone, she met the Safties in passing, followed them on social media, started up a dialogue with them and then got a call saying they were making a movie and wanted her to play the female lead. But the studio thought the part should go to someone famous. So Julia set out to prove them wrong. Josh Safdie would hit me up every few months and ask me for suggestions on the character, she recalled. Of course, I molded her to be what I wanted her to be, which conveniently was also what Josh wanted her to be. Ellipsis. I knew I wanted to be in the film industry. And I am not one to wait for things to be handed to me. And so the character Sadie became Julia De Fiori, and the real Julia scored a nomination for the Gotham Independent Film Award for Breakthrough Performer. She actually served as the inspiration for her character in Uncut Gems. Julia Fox made her feature film debut in the 2019 Safdie Brothers drama Uncut Gems. She starred opposite Adam Sandler as Julia De Fiori, his characters. Employee and girlfriend, she actually inspired the role. According to a 2020 profile in Rolling Stone, she met the Safdies in passing, followed them on social media, started up a dialogue with them and then got a call saying they were making a movie and wanted her to play the female lead. But the studio thought the part should go to someone famous. So Julia set out to prove them wrong. Josh Safdie would hit me up every few months and ask me for suggestions on the character, she recalled. Of course, I molded her to be what I wanted her to be, which conveniently was also what Josh wanted her to be. Ellipsis. I knew I wanted to be in the film industry. And I am not one to wait for things to be handed to me. And so the character Sadie became Julia De Fiori, and the real Julia scored a nomination for the Gotham Independent Film Award for Breakthrough Performer. When I got to set the first day and I saw 200 people, I was like, oh, this is a major movie. I thought it was just going to be us and the homies. She watched the film for the first time when it premiered at the Telluride Film Festival in 2019. I went into the theater a nobody. And as soon as the movie was over, everyone was looking at me, and suddenly it was like, oh, the news is out, she told Rolling Stone the following year, noting that she then booked in. A gentin started taking acting classes. Uncut Gems marked her acting debut. Julia Fox was very green when she starred in Uncut Gems. In 2019, she told Elle Shed underestimated the size of the production. When I got to set the first day and I saw 200 people, I was like, oh, this is a major movie. I thought it was just going to be us and the homies. She watched the film for the first time when it premiered at the Telluride Film Festival in 2019. I went into the theater a nobody. And as soon as the movie was over, everyone was looking at me, and suddenly it was like, 
Oh, the news is out, she told Rolling Stone the following year, noting that she then booked an agent and started taking acting classes. Benicio del Toro, David Harbour, John Hamm, Brendan Fraser and Kieran Culkin, of the Steven Soderbergh-directed HBO Max period crime thriller No Sudden. She scored another major acting gig in 2021. Uncut Gems was just the beginning for Julia Fox. In 2021, she was part of the ensemble cast, which also included Don Cheadle, Benicio del Toro, David Harbour, John Hamm, Brendan Fraser and Kieran Culkin, of the Steven Soderbergh-directed HBO Max period crime thriller No Sudden Move. Study and work in Canada. Add McMaster University. Slideshow continues on the next slide.